All right. Um, so going over for these, if you're just adding them, exactly as we mentioned, f of x plus g of x is just simply f of x plus g of x. The best thing that I would recommend to do with this, ladies and gentlemen, is just take this function and then add it to that function. So I have x squared minus 9 plus x plus 3. A lot of times you can put them in parentheses if you want to, but the parentheses are really aren't helping us at all. The only like terms I can combine are my numbers, negative 9 and 3. And that gives us negative 6. So I have x squared um, plus x minus 6. Now I asked you to find the domain for every single one of these because we've got to practice domain. Does my domain have any of my restrictions? Anything in denominator, anything under radical? Any restrictions? No. So the domain. Um, the domain is from negative infinity to infinity. All right, let's do f of g of x. Again, the same thing. Now here, I would probably recommend using parentheses. Because when you use parentheses, you've got to make sure you, you distribute that negative. So really, it's a negative x, and it's a positive 3. Right? Oh, no, sorry, that's a plus 3. Um, x plus 3. So it's a negative x, and it's a negative 3. So my negative 9 plus a negative 3 is going to be a negative 12. x squared minus x minus 12. Again, the domain is going to be the same, negative infinity to infinity. In the next example, you're multiplying. All it's saying is take one function and times it by the other function. All you guys had to do was do x squared minus 9 times x plus 3. And then distribute. Well, how do we know how to do this? We knew this by fo fo FOIL. So by doing FOIL, I'll do FOIL in my head, but you guys might need to write it out. You'll have x cubed um, plus 3x squared minus 9x minus 27. Are there any like terms I can combine? Nope. Is there anything in the denominator? Is there anything in the denominator or in the numerator? No. So guess what? My domain is going to equal um, negative infinity to infinity. Okay. Um, for these two functions, I have um, now what I'm simply going to do is all you're simply doing is dividing, taking f of x over g of x. So I have x squared minus 9 all over x plus 3. Now, um, hmm, interesting. Well, if we we're going to look into this, this is kind of interesting how they're uh, teaching this. But ladies and gentlemen, can I factor this? Can I simplify this at all? x squared minus 3? I can factor that into what? What can x squared minus 3 be factored to? x minus 9. And we'll learn about this later in the year. But when you have a rational expression and you need to simplify it, always look to factor it. Therefore, then you guys see my x plus 3's can divide out. So my answer is x minus 3. Okay. However, when you are identifying the domain, your domain is still going to go back through your original <laughs> function. Okay. You're going to use this original function. So my domain is going to be all real numbers, except when does x, when does my, uh, you guys notice, now, now we have a constraint. Right? My denominator cannot equal 0. So when does my denominator equal 0 to my original problem? Don't worry about the simplified answer in this case, um, because we'll talk about this later. This is actually going to produce a whole. When does my range, uh, I'm sorry, when does my domain equal 0? For what values does that make it equal 0? Nope. 3 plus 3 is 3. x plus 3 equals 0. Right? Just set your denominator equal to 0. That will tell you the values that it's going to equal 0 which is negative 3. So therefore, x, all real numbers except x, cannot equal negative 3. All right? And then the last one is to do g of f of x, or g of f of x. So now I do x plus 3. Again, you can do the same thing. Factor it. Those divide out, so I'm left with 1 over x minus 3. 
However, as I mentioned to you, when you're identifying the domain, you want to go back from your original answer, not your simplified answer. So all we would do is to find the domain, we'd set our denominator equal to 0. Does everybody understand why I'm setting my denominator equal to 0? The reason why I'm setting my denominator equal to 0 is because I'm trying to identify when, what, for what values of x, make the denominator equal to 0. So when I go ahead and do that, um, 1 over x minus 3, so I have x squared. By solving, I get x equals plus or minus 3. So my domain is going to be all real numbers, except x cannot equal plus or minus 3. Okay. Um, 